on the 30th of July 2019, a hotel cleaner at D-Line Port Harcourt Brooklyn Hotel went for her afternoon shift as usual. She had done this job multiple times and it was like second nature to her. When she opened her last room, she made a horrifying discovery. She found a strangled body of a woman on the bed. This woman would turn out to be Maureen Ewuru. She was a 23-year-old mother of one, a student of Abia State Polytechnic. She had left her home in Abba, Abia State, to visit a friend in Port Harcourt, but never returned. A family reported her missing and still could not locate her. A few days later, they received a phone call from the police and they were called to identify her body at the mortuary. The workers at the hotel had seen her check in with a man, but could not remember his face. The police then requested CCTV footage of the hotel and they checked and identified a man leaving the hotel earlier before her body was discovered. The name of this man was Gracious David West and they launched a manhunt for him. He was only located after another woman woke up as he was trying to tie her up and suffocate her, but she managed to escape. He was then arrested by the police and while in custody, he confessed to murders of over 15 other women in hotel rooms, especially in Port Harcourt. Gracious reportedly had a tough childhood. Several individuals who knew him claimed that he was an only child born in a polygamous household, but he and his mother lived separately from the rest of the family. He claims that his mother was poisoned as the only son of his father. Much was expected of him, but he could not deliver. He claimed that he once attended a branch of the Lord's Chosen Church in Obigo, where he said that he confessed to the pastor that he was killing women. The pastor reportedly invited him to the crusade prayer to deliver him instead of reporting him to the police. Gracious confessed to being a member of the Greenlanders Mafia, a street gang that sprang out of the armed military groups that are notorious in Nigeria for engaging in criminal acts of violence, black magic, or witchcraft. Although Gracious reportedly belonged to the criminal group, he told the authorities that he had acted alone. He said that he had an irresistible age to kill, and every night from June to September, he scoured the streets in his vehicle looking for women. He would proceed to take the victim to a local hotel, where he and the victim would eat, have sex, and then go to bed. In the middle of the night, Gracious would wake up the victim, threaten them with a knife. He would then rob them of their money, ATM cards, and other valuables. He would turn on the television or radio on the highest volume, and then using strips of cloth he had cut from the pillowcases, tie up the victim before manually strangling her. Victims were often found naked, bound with a white strip of cloth on their ankles, arms, and neck. He was due for arraignment on the 22nd of October 2019, but the absence of his lawyer frustrated the arraignment. David pled guilty to nine murder charges against him, but pled not guilty to the charge of attempted murder. Trial Judge Justice Adolphus Enebeli sentenced him to death by hanging for the murder of nine women and attempted murder of one on the 9th of October 2020. The judge described him as a ruthless and an unrepentant serial killer who deserved no mercy. May the souls of his victims rest in eternal peace.